Hey everybody, it's John from the Gamer Duo here, and today we have another special day as we are continuing Pokemon Platinum. And I'm excited to see kind of where where this is gonna bring us. Because we're on the final stretch of this let's play, as I should probably turn on the light, you know. That's important, but I forget about it. Anyway, um I just wanna say thank you guys so much for the continued support, you know, just throughout the live streams, especially. Do I not? Okay. Like, it's very crazy to think that we're getting close to 300. We're, like, six away from 300. So, if you do like the content and you are not subscribed yet, feel free to hit that button. It'd be greatly appreciated. But, today, <clears throat> there's a couple things. One, as you can see on the mini-map, there's a wild Pokemon. And I said I was going to, and I did show it. In the last episode, it's just Mesprit, and of course I'm saying it's just Mesprit. It's a randomizer, so it actually was its static form. So I'm not gonna catch it, and I'm just gonna sacrifice a legendary encounter because I am not gonna spend thirty thousand years trying to catch that Pokemon because. It would take me like 30,000 years to catch that thing. So we're just going to make it easy on myself and not have to worry about that. Um, I swear, there's nothing. There's nothing happening after this, right? Like, let's just use our hyper. Oh, we're like fully healed anyway. Never mind. I was like, let's just use our hyper potions. Yeah, let's not. Let's not waste them yet. We're going to get. Oh. There's probably wait. There's probably a lot of you guys that are new, so let me do a team recap. <laughs> I usually don't. I do team recaps occasionally, but like usually I do team recaps when there's deaths and stuff in the party. But we have Mur the Fortress with Strength, Steel Wing, U-Turn, and Focus Energy. We got Luca the Swalot with the Pure Incense, which makes things less or makes it so I encounter less Pokemon with Body Slam, Cross Poison, Rock Climb, and Rock or Sludge Bomb. We have Dan the Raichu, which I kind of want to rename Sparks because, you know, kind of want to do that. With Bite, Thunder Punch, Ice Beam, and Charge Beam. We have Shelly with Dive, Bone Meringue, Cut, and Surf. And we have Bulbous the Cherim with Leaf Blade, Defog, Giga Drain, and Rock Smash. And Cheryl the Driftblim with Night Slash, Air Slash, Fly, and Shadow Punch. And that is the team right now. Um, I think that we're gonna actually keep Mur in the front for right now, just because why not? Route 222. So we get an encounter on this route. What are we getting? And actually we get two, because we're, we're giving up our static mess, Brett. A Nidorino? Okay! I do not mind the Nidorino as our first of the encounters of two. Um, and Steel is resi it resists Steel, right? I probably am so wrong. We'll find out. I it lived on red, but it didn't resist, so that was a big risk that I did make. Oh, my work's calling me. Let me see what's going on. Hold on. Okay, back to getting this Nidorino, because uh, it was called from work, seeing if I can come in early. I said I'll come in like 15 minutes early, um, because why not make so that I don't so that I'm not I came in so I. Ugh. I said I could come in 15 minutes early so I wasn't entitled to a lunch because coming in 30 minutes early to then be entitled to a lunch to make it so that I make the same amount of money was pointless. So if I came in 15 minutes early, I'd make a little bit more money. Um, so that's that. I mean, I don't make too much working at a, min uh, min a little bit over minimum wage, um, which in my state is actually a lot, but... Um, anyway, we're going to catch this Nidorino, and we have way too many, <laughs> way too, we have a lot of Pokeballs, so I don't, I don't fear the fact that we're not going to catch it, but yeah, so that means that this episode's going to be like, we started at 11.20-ish, oh wow, that was a nice catch, okay, we got that pretty easily, and we're going to give our nickname to the Cot Nidorino, which will be a Nido King, and you know, the king right now is the Culpa King. So Culpa, you're gonna be nicknamed after this. Um, 
So, I don't actually... I can talk about this because... Oh, I can't do that. I can't do upcase, but I'll do Culpa. The Culpa King... If you have not... I should probably make sure I'm spelling that right. I don't care. We'll find out if I'm spelling it right. <laughs> um, but go check out uh, King Culpa. Um, I don't have his link in the description below. But I will be putting... I will be making a revamp to the channel. And putting um, those channels in my feature channels list. Because Jonas doesn't upload anymore. And Richard doesn't upload anymore. So why not make it a community and I'm gonna put those guys in the sidebar of my channel so when you see the trailer and everything because the trailer is terrible right now um, you'll see all of the people that I have potential that I could potentially do collabs with in the future and I'm excited speaking of the future well I got another encounter that I have to get speaking of the future we actually are part of the front office of the LA spice in the WBE Crazy. Also, Nuzleaf. So it's a shift trait. Because I have the Leaf Stone, I think. I better have the Leaf Stone. That's all I'm saying. I better have the Leaf Stone. Should I, can I just throw an Ultra Ball? Will that work? I mean, it's a Nuzleaf. I don't doubt it. I feel like it would be okay. One. Two. Okay. That actually might, might work. Also, you have an Absorb. Okay. So, I'm trying to think of, like, something I can hit you with that doesn't do damage. <laughs> or doesn't do a lot of damage, I should say. Well, I can go to Bulbous. Like, even though Rock Smash is super effective, it's such a bad move. I don't expect it to kill. So, Shift Tree... What am I going to nickname the shift tree? I swear I have the moonstone, so... Shift tree... Shift tree is not a Gen 2 mon. Dang it, I was going to name it Gen 2 Gamer. But it's not a Gen 2 mon, so that doesn't work. I Have I even caught a single Gen 2 mon in this playthrough? I don't know. But no, Shift Tree's Gen 3. Darn. I was hoping it was Gen 2. Um, but it's not. Um, we haven't named something Karai. Now, I also like to name something off the comments in the comment section below. So when people comment, I will nickname a Pokemon after you as long as I can, you know? Um, so I'm thinking, you know, there's this guy named Samuel that's been commenting, so I almost, I can name it Samuel. You got Samuel, Karai, um, Death has been, like, there, and I feel like Death would be a good, oh my gosh. Death is a perfect name for this. Okay, and the only reason it's a perfect name for this is I lost my Black Sleepwalk to a Shift Tree. So, that is actually kind of too perfect. So, yeah, we're nicknaming this Death, because this this is basically our Mesprit encounter. Let's Rock Smash again. We can, we can, it can live. It'll live in, like, the yellow-red health as long as we don't crit. As long as we don't crit! Oh my gosh. Okay, now we can't hit it again. I was gonna say, we were about to get just crits galore. Does Defog get rid of Ingrain? I don't think so. To my knowledge, it does not. Did we get it? Did we get it? Yeah, we did. We got it. Death, the Nuzleaf slash Shift Tree, because if we ever have to have it on the squad, we have both of those stones. So it's nice that we have both those stones, because it could have been bad where we caught just two stone evolutions, and we'd have neither of the stones, but... Death... Because we're on our way to Sunny Shore. Those are all trainers. Which, I mean, we have time to fight them. It's not like we don't have time. 
Time is the least of the worries. I just want to know what level these guys are, and I hope that I'm not under leveled. I shouldn't be. Like, 51 sounds like a very good spot, I guess, to be. Well, yeah, it's a good spot to be, but this guy's got a Mew, because of course he has a Legendary. We're just going to start with a minimizing Mew, but we did learn that Mew literally has absolutely no attacking moves, so... Like, we are not threatened by the Mew at all. Like, I'm not threatened by it because I know it can't touch me, which is nice. Unless it's... Because it learns a move every 10 levels, Mew does. So it wouldn't change... The moveset wouldn't change from our level 50 Mew. So we're going to Shadow Punch because that can't miss. So, sorry. Your minimizes are worthless. And you have done one. That takes some skill. Okay, full restore your Pokemon that has absolutely no way of hitting me. That's just a waste of $2,500. I can't waste 2500 Poke Dollars. I mean, I've got 209,000 Poke Dollars, and I still am like, I can't waste a Hyper Potion, which is only 1200 Poke Dollars. So, the fact that you're willing to waste a 2500 Poke Dollars because you think that I'm not going to kill you because you're just sitting here minimizing is bad. Like, teach a move to your Mew. That's all I'm at. Like, if you teach a move to your Mew, maybe your shenanigans will be worthwhile. But giving me $8,300, or I think, was that $8,300? I was going to say, that looked like $8,300. And if I'm not, if I'm wrong, then I'm actually happy that I'm wrong. But there's a lot of the full restore people. A fresh water? Why? Why, Why give us a fresh water now when it's absolutely useless? Like, fresh water is a great early game item. But why would you give us fresh water when we're... <laughs> the first... This is my luck in a nutshell. The very first two trainers we fight in today's episode have a Mew and a Mewtwo. Oh, the other gamer duo. You <laughs> see this. A Mew and a Mewtwo. What's next? Zapdos? Moltres? What What do you guys have in store for me next? Oh, great. You have Meditate, and you have the ability to copy whatever I have. So we're going to Steel Wing. Hopefully, you copy the Steel Wing as I'm in a U-turn. Uh-oh. A plus one. Oh, wait. That's not super effective. That's only neutral. It's just neutral from a plus one Mewtwo is still going to hurt. Die, die, dead, dead. Yeah, Mewtwo is dead. And 2400 experience, giving Murr the level up that he needs to go to level 52. Now, mind you, Volkner, the gym leader, is going to have a level 58. So almost level 60. So we are definitely not in an easy, easy patch, to say the least. Can we... Oh, wait, we can cut here. Did I just find, like, a way to avoid every single trainer? Probably not. A Razor Claw, that evolves Sneasel and gives crit chances. Or not crit chances, flinch chances. Flinch, flinch chances, I want to say, right? That feels and sounds right, so we're going to go with it. Ooh, you give me a TM. And it's we actually randomize the TMs in this game, so I don't know what the TM56 is. It's supposed to be Fling, but we know it's not Fling. I'm, I'm intrigued. TM56 is self-destruct. Yeah, no, we're not we're not teaching that. <laughs> that is not worth. Aha! I avoided the double battle. I knew you guys were gonna trick me with a double battle, and I avoided it! Because I'm smart sometimes. Operator. <laughs> I just can't catch a break, can I? Mew. <laughs> Freaking Mewtwo. And the next trainer has a lot of yachts. Or a lot of <laughs> What is life, actually? <laughs> I can't, like... <laughs> what the world? 
Oh, it's a Dragon Dance Latios too. Aha! Great, okay. This is an awesome start. <laughs> and this is only the beginning. That's the thing. Oh, yay, we had a defense raise. Ha ha ha. But now you turn should kill you. This is only the beginning. That's the crazy thing. This is only the beginning of the episode. Like, we haven't gotten anywhere in this episode yet. Did we get a crit? Yay! When you have a 66% crit chance, I would hope to get a crit. We've been live, or not live, we've been recording for like 11 minutes, plus like the two minutes, because of course I got called like two minutes, but that's okay. That's, that's only natural. All natural. Um, I guess getting the fresh water was a good thing because I'm going to use that instead of a hyper potion. Because that only heals, what? That heals 50 points and Murr does, just does not have HP for days. So, what are you, what are you gonna have, little kid? You're probably gonna have some other legendary Pokemon. This route's gonna be full of legendaries. Oh, you got one Mon? Oh, hey, it's not a legendary! Yay, it's a Persian, it's something that's easy. Even though I've been making all these legendaries. Oh, well, you have a Gossip Guy, I forgot. You got a fighting type move. As long as you don't have a fire type move, we're fine, though. Like, honestly, as long as there's no fire type moves, we're okay. Metronome. Oh, gosh. Okay. I was gonna say that I would say that, and then he'd metro metronome blast burn me into oblivion. And I would be so angry, but we'd have to live with it. Woo! We didn't lose! We didn't get Metronome Blast Burn into Oblivion. Yes! Perfect! We got the defense raised when we don't need it. That's okay. That is okay. Blast Burn will not kill. Blast Burn will not do anything. We won't have to worry about a thing. That is all I'm saying. When you don't have to worry about, like, anything in general, like, like, the team is a team where you don't think that your team's actually good, but then it proves to you that it's good. It, they're like, you don't think we're good? Excuse me, um, we are actually really good. You just don't see it. And you're right, like, you look at these Pokemon and you're like, oh, oh, Cherim, yuck. And then you actually have them, have them use the correct use. Is that a new route? I think that is. You have the correct use for them. And then you're like, oh, that was actually way better than I thought. Macargo. That's a fire type. We gotta pop the swap on because, yeah, we're not staying in on that. Hey, Shelly, come on out, girl. Kill this Macargo instantaneously, please. Appreciated. Um, yeah, Fire Punch. I I mean, we probably would have lived a Fire Punch from Macargo, but there's no reason to take the chance. Especially when we're, we have a, like, an exact answer. And we have the Fire Water, we don't have a Fire type. I should be quiet. I was like, we have a fire water grass core. Where's the fire type? Oh, non-existent? Oh, that's right. Swalla, hey! We don't have anything for Swalla, do we? Well, we know Murr will be fine. As well, coming in on the Swalla. Oh wait, Shelly's got ground type moves. What am I doing? I don't know. That that's the real question. Is what am I doing? I have literally the answer for that right here. And I'm like, oh, what can I do? Cause that Oko's. Yeah. What was I thinking? Real answer, I was not thinking. I okay. Real talk, I have a brain and I can like I have memory. Like I have good memory, but that's about it. Because anything else, like, I can't, I can't process a lot of the things that are going on. Like, I'm like, what is this? How is this? The who, what, when, where, why, how is literally an embodiment of my life, uh, in a nutshell. Because, oh, wait, you're a normal type. Luckily, we have a night slash. <laughs> like that, I was about to click Shadow Punch because I was like, oh, Psychic type. Regar disregarding the fact that normal exists. Oh my gosh. I thought we were playing Gen 3 for a second, and I thought we just died. I was like, oh no, we just used a dark type move. Uh-oh. But isn't Giraffrix debut generation Gen 4? So I don't know why I was thinking. But 
But I so thought we had died. Is this Shiny Shore? Did we already make it to Shiny Shore? I really... I think we did. Oh, for a second I thought we were fighting Flint. I'm like, we're not fighting it yet. Yo, fellow trainer! Your Pokemon are secure inside their Pokeballs, and they're not, there's no masking the order of serious toughness. Oops! Sorry, I should introduce myself. I am Flint, one of the Pokemon Elite Four members. I just had an idea, maybe you can pull it off, but it's about this town's gym leader. He's really lost his enthusiasm lately, but because they've been, there have been few good challengers worth his time. He's been bored, so he spends all his time renovating the gym, and the blackout happened, and that sure didn't lift him out of his mood. You know where I'm going with this, don't you? I need you to give him a battle that's so hot it'll reignite his passion for battling. I'll continue. I'll I'm, I'll continue on you. Jeez, that was that was great reading, John. I'm counting on you, Hotshot. That was awesome reading. I'll continue on you. Yeah, you sure will. Oh my, like that is so something that I would say. Like, come, like on complete accident too. Like I can, I know that is exactly something that I would say on complete accident. Cause when I read, I just I take a glimpse and just read. So it's like I see, like, like I can't do it on this. But oh, are you giving me some pokeatches? No, you're not giving me some pokeatches. They're all talking about how bored the gym leader is, and I'm like, yeah, cause your gym leader is almost level sixty. There's a reason. I wonder why your gym leader is bored. Because he's almost level 60 and I have to train up for him. Which means I should probably fight those fishermen. Because the difference between the levels is insane. Now, mind you, I kind of made it that way. But, like... Oh, you have to... Wait, how do I get there? I think I have to surf to get that. Which, I mean, I totally... Oh wait, no, I can rock smash. I yeah, I was like, well, I could surf around, but iron plate. Ooh, that's terrible for me actually. And the yellow flute. Okay, I figured that was a item spot. So we're gonna fight. Uh oh, you didn't. You don't want to fight. Okay. I'm like, I'm gonna fight all the fishermen. First fisherman I talk to, it doesn't want to fight. Okay. So, what is this? What am I playing right now? What is this? I am, what am I playing? Honestly, like, am I actually playing Pokemon or am I playing high legendary Pokemon? How are you? Now let's battle you with the Cherim because Cherim is definitely a good Pokemon. Actually, Cherim has proved her worth. Um, Bulbas has definitely proved her worth 100% on the squad, so. It's just like, I just gotta just give it a look. Like, are you kidding me? Uh, how many more legendaries do we have in store? This is legendary number four out of, I think, less than five. Oh, this thing is Hydro Cannon. Ouch. Hydro Cannon from a Kyogre. Oh, no way. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it was in the rain. I guess that's... That's true. It's in the rain. I wasn't thinking. Sorry. I thought it was going to do way less damage. I thought it was a crit. But then, yeah, it's in the rain. Hydro Cannon in the rain. I'm like... Okay, we're faster. I was like, are we faster than this thing? Like, can I, like, can I kill it with another Giga Drain? Yes, I can. Woo! If we would have gotten crit. If we would have gotten crit, I would have been so mad. Bulbas has been on this team since episode 6. This is episode 38. It has been on this team for 32 episodes. 32 episodes that this thing has starred on this team. You are not killing it now, okay? It is... I don't want it to die. What other Pokemon are we encountering? Or what other Pokemon are we going to fight today? You got three Pokemon. A Porygon Z. You know what? I don't mind Porygon Z. Because Porygon Z is... Um, well, a normal type. And normal types are bad. But <laughs> it also doesn't have Z conversion, so it's not, um, what is it? It's not toxic, because it's got, doesn't have, it doesn't have stupid moves, like Z conversion, that'll turn it into a ghost type, just out of nowhere. So, Porygon, 
We're raising our defenses. And Slam is going to do, what, 10 damage? No, you're going to get a crit. Okay, good job. Fantastic. It would have done 10 damage, but you got a crit. So, Porygon Z Faints, 1900 experience. Mur is level 30... 33? 53. If Mur was 33, Mur would not be doing good. Steelix is next. We're going into Shelly on that. Shelly can handle a Steelix. Um, because, well, water super effective, ground super effective, like... It's weak to the dual stabs, so might as well. I'm going to Surf because it's more powerful, so... Steelix will probably not get one shot. Oh, it did! Okay. I was not expecting it to get one shot, so... Level 54. So, we have to train everybody, like... Oh, Mach Punch. Wait, who's learning Mach Punch? Oh, duh, the Pokemon that we leveled up. Yeah, no. Mach Punch, not worth. Not worth. Why does every trainer have a legendary Pokemon? Why? Why does every single trainer have a legendary Pokemon? I don't know. Literally, there's only been one trainer in this entire route, in this entire episode, that hasn't had a legendary. Only one. And it's the more defensive one, which I don't mind. I The more defensive one's fine. Just kill it, please. Nope, you don't one-shot it. Spite. Oh, great. You're gonna get rid of my Ice Beam. You're gonna get rid of my Dragon Counter. <laughs> You're definitely gonna get rid of my freaking... Ugh! Why? Why are you getting rid of my dragon counter? Well, so I can encounter another legendary because your other fisherman dude has a legendary, probably? I I don't doubt that we're going to run into almost a legendary, so... Oh, there's like a bunch of fisherman dudes still. We're not going to be able to finish all the fisherman dudes in this episode because I have to leave for work in 5, 10, and 10 minutes, so... Sableye. Hey, something. That's pseudo okay to fight. Um, although, you have three Pokemon, so you could have a legendary as well. Luckily, like I said, I love the fact that Murr has, like, resistances galore. Because it really does. It helps significantly. Don't sucker punch again. Good. Like, res having resistances galore just changes the game, honestly. It does. It changes the game when you can have a mon that resists, like... Most of the Pokemon. Uh, another Steelix. Okay. Well, we know Shelly Oko Steelix, so that's what we're doing. We're going into Shelly to Oko the Steelix. And we're going to Surf again, because we know that Oko's. And what's the last Pokemon? That is the real question. The real question will be, what is this last Pokemon? I'm expecting it not to be too terrible. 2016 experience. Roserade! A. We're going into Cheryl. Roserade is a really good Pokemon. I like Roserade. I wish I could... Wait. I could... I could have had a Roserade in this Let's Play because... I do have the stone for it, but... It's called, uh, Bulbous Never Died. So I can't use the Roserade because Bulbous Never Died. Um... Sludge Bomb is going to do, like, what? 30 damage? 40 damage. 40. Hey, I had my tears on point today. And we defeated author Chloe. So, I guess we're going to end this episode off here. Because we have, what? Two trainers. And then we have to train up some mons. Um... Like, I think we should get our entire, entire squad to level 56 before going entering the gym. Because his ace is going to be level 58. So I don't feel bad going in to the gym um, under under his ace. But, like, on par with most of his other Pokemon. So that's where we're going to aim to be is, like, on par with his Pokemon. But not his ace. Like, his ace is still going to be either right at our level or... a couple levels ahead kind of like what we've been doing with um what's what was his face like i did with cyrus so um i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna drop off this episode here thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it and by the time this episode comes up 
Um, actually, we won't be at 300 by the time this episode comes up. If we are, I will literally be insane. Um, but I don't know. Tell me what you think we should do for 300 subscribers. Because that's a milestone. Um, uh, but I didn't think we'd hit this month. But we did it. Or we're about to do it. So, let me know in the comment section below what you want me to do for that. So, anyway, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And hit the bell so you don't miss an icon or uh, a notification. Bye-bye!